Welcome to this episode of Shop Dust, coming from the location of a teenager's bedroom, where in this video, I'm going to be building this oak pallet bedside table. So stay tuned and enjoy. I start off by cutting a piece of three quarter inch ply to 22 and a half inches wide by 23 inches wide. Then I cut the frame for the side panels to four 22 inch styles and four 18 inch rail pieces. These will hold the oak slats that will fill in the middle of the side panel. I'm just arranging the pieces to what I think looks good before I cut the rabbits and drill my pocket holes. Now I use a quarter inch rabbit bed to cut a full length rabbit in the rails while the styles get a stop rabbit. But before I cut the rabbits on the styles, I'll mark the start and the stop of the cut by using the finished cuts on the rails and all four pieces lined up. I set the router fence a little behind the bearing on the bit so I can see my mark of where to start and stop my cut and run the piece on the bearing of the bit and use the router table fence for just a little support but mostly dust collection. So this blowout was going to be in a spot where it will never be seen, but it was driving me absolutely batty, so I had to fix it.
Now it's time for some pocket screws, glue, and clamps. I don't know why I didn't set up a stop block at the miter saw to cut these slats, but instead I chose to mark and cut them one at a time. I guess I like doing things the hard way. And I just use 5 8 inch staples to secure the oak slats inside the frame. This will allow for wood movement, if any. Now for some pocket holes in the piece of plywood that I'll use for the top. I put the pocket holes and screws on the top and we'll be covering them with the oak slats and there'll be no taking this apart after that. Here I'm about to screw and glue two 22 and a half inch pieces of two and a half inch scrap for supports on the bottom. I screwed up here and didn't realize I needed to cut my top a quarter inch short to leave room for the front top edge. So I ran a straight edge with some double sided tape and did a plunge cut with the circular saw and finished off the cut with a pull saw. Crisis averted. Now this is for the drawer front. I cut three oak planks to 24 inches, keeping them a little bit long in case there's any screw ups, and arrange the boards in the order I like, and then get them ready for glue up.
Now here I'm measuring for the placement of the shelf that will also double as the drawer stop. Using pocket holes placed on the corners of the shelves, I'll screw into just the frame of the side panels so the screws don't blow through the thinner center boards. This is a 3 8 inch rabbit on the top back half of the nightstand set at a quarter inch depth to accept a piece of quarter inch birch plywood. So I chose to go with a herringbone pattern on the top. So I found center, laid out the pattern so it was even, then glued and used one inch finish nails to hold everything in place. Now I use a flush cut trim bit to bring the top even with the sides. Now to clean up the glue squeeze out on the drawer front and cut out the heart that will be used as the drawer pull. The drawer front was too thin to do rabbited half-blind dovetails, and I didn't want a false face, but I did want a strong joint that would last, so I settled on stop sliding dovetails. These should hold up to many years of opening and shutting this drawer.
Now for some through dovetails for the back of the drawer. I love this dovetail jig, so I use any excuse to break it out. Once the setup is done, it's as easy as routing out the tails and pins and gluing it up. Now for a half inch dado on the two sides in front using a half inch straight bit set at a quarter inch depth. Then I'll rip a half inch off the back so the half inch plywood bottom will just slide into the dado. Then use a couple one and a quarter inch finish nails to secure the drawer bottom in place. Here I'm marking the drawer fronts where the dado will be cut. I like to do this with everything put together and then there are no mistakes. This is a stop dado, so I marked a start and a stop point on the piece I'm cutting in the fence of the router along with a bunch of other marks on the router fence I can't seem to get off no matter how hard I try. So I hope I stop and start my cut on the right mark. So I got these Craig Jig drawer slide jigs to try and make drawer slide installation just a bit easier. This is the first time I've used them and they seem to work out pretty well. You can't see it here, but I use spacers on the bottom of the drawer to give me my reveal. And then slide the drawer out a little bit until I can screw in a screw. Then slide the drawer out a little bit again and screw in another screw until I have at least two screws on each side. I used a little five minute epoxy to fill in a few holes that were around, then used my number four to knock off any high spots on the top.
Then of course I routed a quarter inch round over on all the sides to break the sharp edges. I didn't show any video of me sanding everything down to 220 grit, but believe me, I got it done. I used three coats of Minwax Satin Polyurethane sanding in between coats. Man, I love how this old oak pallet wood just pops. It's really satisfying and I think it turned out great. And there it is, an old oak pallet nightstand. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Shop Dust. And if you have any questions or suggestions on how I can improve my videos or workflow, please feel free to comment below. Thanks for watching.